The wiggle expression is one of the handiest and the simplest expressions to use in After Effects. I'm going to use it to create a cloud of mosquitoes outside of this unfortunate person's tent. I'm going to create a very simple ellipse. Let's go ahead and just fill that with like a gray. No stroke. And in our ellipse path, we are going to make the size tiny, 8 by 8, and that's probably still too big, but we'll go with that for now. Okay, the expression. So in a Mac option, click the stopwatch on the position and type the word wiggle. And in parentheses, there are two parameters. The first is going to be the frequency of movement in your wiggle. So in this case, let's just go with 12. And then the second number defines the farthest movement that the wiggle expression will create. So let's just try 50, meaning it'll move 50 pixels. And we'll exit out of that and then just hit play and watch the little dot here. All right, we got all sorts of wacky motion going on. And it looks a little bit like a bug, but we'll just dial it in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to slow it down a little bit. Not quite so erratic, maybe eight. And let's have the, uh, the distance that the little point can move be quite a bit greater. Let's try 120, just off the top of my head. Sure, I'll slow it down a little bit more. Let's have it go five times a second. Yeah, that's kind of looking like a, a an annoying mosquito movement. And to really sell the effect, let's turn on the motion blur. Again, let's maximize that. Little tiny things are hard to see. Yeah, it's not too bad. So let's uh, let's go back to our layer color. Let's darken that a little bit more. Let's also shrink it down another two pixels, make it like a six by six. And actually, I'm going to speed it up just a tiny bit. There we go. Now the uh, the fun part, just duplicate it a bunch of times. And it places them at different positions. And you end up with a uh, you end up with a lot of difficulty for your machine. And we've got ourselves a decent little uh, cloud of, of bugs here. You can take that and refine it and, and run with it in any number of directions. You could actually take a little picture of an actual bug and stick that in. I'm just using the uh, the shape layer because it's so easy. Don't really want to over crank or overthink this. You can also adjust the, the wiggle expression for each individual layer just to differentiate a little bit. You can take individual layers and reposition them a little bit just as their default. So now it's going to be relative to that spot where I placed it, all the movement that goes into it. And I can say, I want this one to go 6.8 movements per second, and I want it to have a maximum movement of 190 because it's a particularly ambitious and overachieving little mosquito. And so now we see that this, this mosquito is really going all over, all over the place. You could attach all of these to a null object and have kind of a master movement. In fact, I think I'll do that right now. So let's... Uh, I'm going to create a null object that's just the, uh, the group guide. I'll just parent those all here. And this one, let's do a wiggle expression here too. Wiggle. Oh, and to show a second level of sophistication here, let's, let's create a slider on the, uh, the group guide layer. So what this is going to give us is just a way to edit values from the effects control instead of having to dig down into the, uh, the layers here. And I'm going to name my slider frequency because that's the, the name of the first parameter. And in the expression, while we've got this open, we can pick whip that slider. And now we are pulling that value into the expression here. And then I'm going to duplicate this slider and name it the strength. Let's just call it strength. And we will pull on that slider, and then we will close that with parentheses. And now, now it's not doing anything because I haven't actually set any values. So let's go with two and 77. And you can see the, the null itself is moving around a bit. In fact, I'm going to crank that up so it'll 
travel quite far across the frame. And you'll see that the, the cloud of bugs is reacting to that movement, so there's kind of a secondary animation. And like it kind of looks terrible, but in the right situation it actually looks good. With the blur applied, this is a very lovely bug effect, and depending on what kind of production you're working on, this might be exactly what you're looking for. I know next to nothing about expressions. Wiggle is one of the expressions that I've memorized because it's so dang simple. And yeah, this doesn't look perfect. It could use some more refinement, but the uh, you get the idea.